Imagine your home. You have internet service through a provider and either they provided you with a wireless router or a cable modem or you bought your own. All your devices are most likely connected through Wi-Fi today. Hopefully it works fine and you have enough Wi-Fi speed and coverage for all your devices. But if you're like most people, you might have some Wi-Fi issues or lack of coverage or are planning to add more devices. How would a switch help? Instead of connecting all your devices with Wi-Fi, you can connect some devices with a wire. What would that do? First, that would offload some of the traffic on your Wi-Fi network. Second, it would give a greater bandwidth to the wired devices. So, what are the steps to adding a switch? One, find out how many devices you would like to wire, like your TV, gaming console, printer, computer, or network storage for photos and videos. Two, select a switch with the correct number of ports. One of the ports would be connected to your router. The other ports would be used to connect the devices. So if you have five to seven devices to connect, you would need an eight port switch. Three, purchase ethernet cables with the switch for the number of ports you need wired. Four, plug one end of the cable to, into the router and the other end to the switch on the other side. Any port works, but to make it easy to remember, let's plug it in the first port on the right of the switch. Then plug the other cables into the switch on one end and into each of your devices on the other end. Six, plug the switch into a power outlet. Seven, that's it. You are good to go and your Wi-Fi can now be fully dedicated to Wi-Fi devices such as smartphones or tablets. For your home, we recommend using what's called an unmanaged switch, which is literally plug and play and doesn't require any IT knowledge. If you need a switch for your office, we recommend a Smart Plus switch that for a small additional price will provide some configuration such as network separation, traffic priority, link aggregation and port mirroring allowing for easy troubleshooting. But that would be described in another video.